So, I keep having this reoccurring dream, which I thought I'd tell everyone about because it's quite strange and it's kind of freaking me out, is I have a dream that I have a baby. I don't, like, I'm not pregnant in the dream. Oh, I don't know how I have this baby, but I know that it's mine. That's, I know that it's my baby. I don't know how, but you know in dreams sometimes you just know stuff. I know it's my baby. And I, and it's a boy, but I don't, it doesn't have a name. It's just like, it just gets referred to as him. So it doesn't have a name. And I keep leaving him everywhere. Like, I'll go shopping, I'll get back, and my mum will be like, where is he? Where's the baby? I'll be like, oh, shit. I've left him in Tesco. And then I'll go back and he'll still be there and I'll pick him up. And then I'll go to the hairdressers and then the hairdressers will call me and be like, hi, um, just thought I'd let you know that you've actually left your baby here. And I'll be like, oh, oh, okay, I'll come pick him up. It's really weird. Like I have it all the time now, this recurring dream. And it's not, before anyone thinks, it's not because I'm slightly broody or want children because I don't. Babies creep me out. Like, they're okay, but I would rather have a puppy. Babies just give me the creeps a little bit. You know what I mean? Then you don't know what they're thinking. They're like, they could be sick at any moment. And I'm like, I don't mind like five, year, five years and above, you know, when they've got control of their own bodily functions. Or do they get that three? See, I know nothing. I'm the youngest in my family. I know nothing about children. So that's not what it is. I think it's because I've heard that it can be because I've uh, like lost something, which is a possibility because I recently got burgled some absolute assholes burgled my house. In case I didn't mention I live alone. I moved out when I was like 19. So yeah, it's the first time that I've been burgled and it sucks. It sucks. It's really weird. Like someone going through your stuff and, and it's just not cool. So I've had to speak to the insurance and they're a nightmare also. You have to find like receipts of stuff that I've had for like three years. Who keeps a receipt of something you bought three years ago? Like my nan, probably my nan, but I don't. So I don't know how this is gonna work. But yes, yeah, so it could be that, but I'm sure I've been having this dream like before I got burgled. So I don't know what it is. So that's been, that's taken up a lot of my thought process. But on the good news side, like bad news burgled and dream weird, Good news side, I found out this weekend that I'm going to Portugal on the 23rd of May, which is like less than a month away now. So my friend, mentioning no names, has split up with her boyfriend, you know the one I mentioned before, has split up with her boyfriend and they had a holiday booked. Obviously he can't go now, because that would be super awkward. Do you know what I mean? So I'm going in his place. So I'm just gonna be her boyfriend for the like week, which is fine, I can do that. So I'm gonna be in the sunshine in, I, don't know, I think it's like 20 days or something like that, 23 days away. So I'm looking forward to that. I've never been to Portugal before. We, I've always wanted to go. And I'm going to the Algarve. So I'll like vlog over there, take loads of pictures, generally just boast that I'm not at home, that sort of thing. Um, but before that, I have Weller Trend Vision for me bonds, which is on the 17th, which will be good. Uh, I'll probably do some stuff there. There'll be like loads of models there and dead thin. I'll be there pretending to be a model. I still can't get used to the fact that I'm actually going as a model because I don't. Uh, I mean, they're all tiny. They're all really tiny. Like a gust of wind is just going to take them and blow them away. But talking about, I have lost three pound since I've been back. It's a big achievement, three pound. Although if anyone wants to ask me what diet I'm doing, I don't suggest doing the diet I'm doing because I'm doing the diet where you don't eat anything. It's actually easier to list things that I do eat than things that I don't eat now. So I eat like salmon, chicken, salad and veg. I mean, that's what we're dealing with. That's on every day, every day. It's awful, it's really, it's really shit but you know it's working so yeah but trust me as soon as the 17th is gone and I don't have to fit into any clothing or anything I will be straight down I can't even think about it. I'm so excited to eat like I can't make my mind up 
what restaurant I want to go to or what I want to eat. I th I'm thinking Mexican food, like fajitas and guacamole and then to finish off with like a dark chocolate fudge cake. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I'm hungry even thinking about it. I'll go downstairs and have a pear. Woohoo! Yeah, so I'm off out. I'm going to go um, watch some live bands tonight. It's uh, open mic night. So it'll be good. So hence why I'm dressed. Well, I'm always dressed, but hence why I look ready to go out. So I'm going out in the Star Wars stuff. I'm a fraud. I don't even really like Star Wars that much. No one kill me. I mean, I watched the last one. It was good, but I didn't watch the old one, so I was a bit confused. But I like the t-shirt, so yeah. So that's where I'm going. Going to watch some bands. Hopefully there's some good ones. So, yes, have a good weekend, bank holiday weekend this weekend. Woo! No work on Monday. Yeah, man. So, ta-ta.